Hey y'all, and welcome back to my little corner of the internet. My name is Lilith, and for today's video, we're going to talk about some of my favorite vegan swaps for Thanksgiving. So grab yourself a hot beverage and a notepad, because I'm gonna be giving you some of my favorite vegan brands. Before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell and give this video a like. So I think the first thing that we have to talk about is the Thanksgiving turkey, the centerpiece of most Thanksgiving meals. Now you'll find tons of vegan roasts on the market, but none of them are as good as Miyoko's recipe that she put out eight years ago for a homemade seitan vegan turkey with a crispy skin. That's right, with a skin. And filled with stuffing, just like a turkey. It even looks like the real thing. So this is my favorite by far of all of the vegan turkeys. And I'm gonna leave a link to her video as well as my video that I did of that recipe down below and in a card. Go check them out because seriously, it is so good. She is amazing, blows my mind, and Miyoko's is listed on here quite a few times. The next thing I wanna talk about is butter. I don't know about y'all, but butter is in basically everything in our Thanksgiving dinner. So I have two options for you. One, I'm gonna say it, Miyoko's Cultured Vegan Butter. The European style butter that she makes is the best vegan butter on the market. But if you're feeling ambitious this year, you can make a homemade butter fairly easily yourself. I do this every year. It's just as good as her butter, but I think it's a little bit cheaper because you're making it at home. And I'll be putting that recipe out on my TikTok very soon. So go down below and follow me on TikTok. I'm dropping small, short recipes on there that I don't feel like need a whole YouTube video. In that butter recipe that I'm gonna be showing y'all, there is yogurt. And you might use yogurt for other things throughout your Thanksgiving dinner. Sometimes I like to make an herb yogurt dip for the vegetable tray during the day, stuff like that. And my favorite brand of vegan yogurt is so delicious. I've tried quite a few different vegan yogurts, and for some reason, this one tastes the best, has the best texture, and overall, I just love it, and it comes in a very large container, so the plain unsweetened one is totally fine for savory recipes. I love putting it on top of curries and stuff like that as well, and the vanilla one is great for just having for breakfast or sweet, or making sweet desserts with, but if you need yogurt this year, So Delicious is definitely the brand. Moving right along, stock. One of the staple things used in Thanksgiving dinner for a myriad of different recipes, mostly stuffing and turkey and gravy. I have a few options for you. One, obviously, make the stock yourself. Save your carrot skins, save the tops of your celery, save your onion skins, boil that all together and make a delicious stock with some liquid aminos. But if you'd rather, if you'd prefer to buy stock to make things a little easier or to supplement if you if you can't make a lot of stock, my favorite brand to use is Better Than Bouillon. I love the vegetable base, but the no, no chicken base is also really good. I really want to try the no beef base, but I cannot find it anywhere near me. I also really love the Edward and Sons brand of stock. That one's gonna be cubes, not the little jars. They have a really good not chicken stock and not beef stock as well. Now, if only a brand would come out with a not turkey stock, because then we could stay on theme, stay on brand for Thanksgiving. I know that there are some vegan turkey stock recipes online, but I like to make things easy. Just use the veggie stock or chicken stock. I don't know about y'all, but for us, my mashed potato recipe has cream cheese and sour cream in it. It's a really decadent, delicious mashed potato recipe. So for the cream cheese, I love, again, Miyoko's. Love that brand, love everything she does. Or Violife. Those are the two brands of cream cheese that I would recommend and that I like the most. And for sour cream, I like the Kite Hill brand. I like a lot of stuff that Kite Hill does, but it just isn't quite as good as Miyoko's or some of the other brands sometimes, but for the, for the sour cream, I actually really like it. 
and our potatoes also have Parmesan in it. And the block of Parmesan from Violife is my absolute favorite Parmesan on the market right now. Moving along to mac and cheese, my absolute favorite cheddar cheese on the market right now is Parmella Creamery. It's an actual aged nut cheese. They have a sharp cheddar and a mild cheddar and I am partial to a sharp cheddar. They have actually changed their branding. So their bags used to be maroon and now they're white. So when looking in your store, keep an eye out for either one of those. I don't know if they've completely used up their maroon packaging, but again, my absolute favorite vegan cheese on the market right now. And we can't forget milk. That can be used in mashed potatoes, mac and cheese, and so many other things. I really love Oatly, even though it's plain unsweetened, it can be a little sweet for savory foods. So I also really love the Ripple Milk and the Khalifi Farms Protein Oat Milk. A couple of my recipes also have half and half in them, and Khalifi Farms is my favorite half and half. Although I haven't tried Ripple's brand, I think I'm still gonna stick with Khalifi Farms because it has always done me well. And I don't know about you guys, but we have bacon in a couple different recipes for our Thanksgiving. And my absolute favorite vegan bacon is actually my recipe. It is a rice paper bacon. I'm gonna leave a video down below where you can get that recipe. I'm also gonna leave it up in a card. I did a recipe last year, bacon wrapped carrots, where I show you how to make that vegan bacon. I also think I have a video just showing you just the bacon. I'm gonna have to check on that. But if there is, I will leave that link below. It's crunchy, it's chewy, it's perfect for if you want to make bacon crumbles or if you wanna have whole slices of bacon. It's just, it's my favorite, it's so good. Now we're gonna move on to some dessert things. Cranberry sauce. Stop buying the gross canned shit. So this one's not really a vegan swap because usually the canned cranberry sauce is vegan, but it's disgusting and gross and never buy it. You're gonna make your own homemade cranberry sauce. I'm gonna be uploading a recipe again to my TikTok because that one's a short little easy one that you can make at home, super simple, and taste a thousand times better than that canned goop. Moving on to egg replacers, I use two different ones depending on what I'm making. The first one is a flax egg. We all know that one. Tablespoon of ground flax seed, hot water. It makes a really goopy, eggy texture. It's really good for being a binder. I'll use that one for cookies and I'll use it in the stuffing to hold the stuffing together. And the other one I use is Bob's Red Mills Egg Replacer. And I really like that one for anything that uses egg as a leveling agent, as a something to make it rise. Sometimes I'll actually do half and half, where if a recipe calls for two eggs, I'll do one flax egg and one of the Bob's Bob's Red Mills just because I get the binder of the flaxseed and the leavening of the powdered egg replacer. So depending on what you're making, you're gonna have to determine which egg replacer is gonna be right for you, but those are kind of how I use those two in different recipes. Now, I don't know about y'all, but we love to have whipped cream with our pies and ice cream. So for whipped cream, the so delicious whipped topping is the best, it is so good light, sweet, so delicious. If you have a recipe that calls for whipping cream or if you want to make your own whipped cream, the Nature's Charm brand coconut whipping cream is amazing. Put it in the fridge and let it get really cold before you use it to whip it up and it will whip up way nicer. Now I use it in my pumpkin pie recipe because my pumpkin pie recipe calls for whipping cream. I don't actually usually make a homemade whipped cream because we just buy the so delicious one. Sometimes I'll make a homemade whipped cream and I will use that whipped cream. And lastly, ice cream. Ice cream on top of warm apple pie. Woo! My two favorite vanilla ice creams are Oatly brand and Nata Moo. Those are two of my favorite vegan ice cream brands and they're so creamy and delicious and perfect with your Thanksgiving dessert. So whether you're just trying to swap out a few things for Thanksgiving dinner, or it's your first full vegan Thanksgiving dinner, or even if you've been doing it for years and you just wanna revamp what you're using, or if you're just interested in what brands I prefer, I hope this video has helped you on your journey to planning 
the best Thanksgiving dinner you can have this year because I know some of us may not be doing a full Thanksgiving dinner, but you may still want to do something small for just you or for you and your roommates or your partner or whoever you are quarantined with. Or if it's the future and we're finally out of quarantine and we're not dealing with this anymore, I hope this list helps you plan your Thanksgiving dinner for whatever time and future world that you're living in. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite vegan swaps are for some of these things or if there are other things that you make for Thanksgiving dinner that you swap vegan things out for. I would love to know what you guys make because this list was just based off of what I make for Thanksgiving dinner and I know everybody kind of makes their own thing so I would love to know what you guys make and what you guys veganize. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and now TikTok for little small bite-sized recipes. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a delicious recipe. Hit the like button if you like this and share this with the person that's making you Thanksgiving dinner. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye y'all.